Hey everybody, it's John from the Gamer Duo here, and today is a special day. Nonetheless, as we are continuing Pokemon Blue, uh, Randomized Nose Log, and honestly, today is about to be a bit scary, okay? So, in my head, I thought, what would be the best thing to do in this episode? We haven't had very many deaths. I mean, seven deaths in a Nuzlocke, that's not bad. Um, at all. Um, so, I figured why not spice up today's episode. So our gym leader, or I should actually say gym leaders, because I think we're going to be taking on both gym leaders today. I don't see a problem with it, because I think that g the eighth gym opens up after I beat the seventh. So... We have Giovanni today that we're going to be taking on as well, hopefully, in this episode. And Giovanni's going to have an ace of level 58. So he's going to be about five levels above us. I honestly think that that's not a bad thing. Because, I mean, the rest of his team is basically where we're at anyway, so might as well. So, same team as last time, so there's honestly no need for a recap. And yeah, we're gonna get into this. So I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like this is gonna be one of those kind of interesting episodes. Oh, wait, can I just secret key everything? That's right. I don't have to fight any trainers, but I mean, I might as well. Like, it's not a bad thing to be fighting trainers, honestly. Then and at, die. Like, honestly, what's sad is all these trainers are so low. Oh no, I do have to fight them, okay. So I have to fight them back to back to back. Okay, perfect. That makes me feel a little better that I have to actually fight them. Dude, Ty is out here. Ty is going to be out here. I think Ty is our best Pokemon. I'm not going to lie when I say that. Ooh, a gold bat. Okay. Oh, we don't have Cypher. I literally went like, look, go to Cypher. Horny, horny, horny. Cypher died like four episodes ago. Why I thought Cypher was still alive? It's because I didn't do a team recap. So there's the team. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's because I didn't do a team recap. Anyway. So what do we go into then? Oh, I guess Kawhi, because Kawhi's got Psychic. And then Flareon gets destroyed, and Scyther gets destroyed, and War Turtle gets destroyed. There we go. We defeated the Elite Four. That guy was the entire Elite Four. Okay. Anyway. Ooh, a Snorlax, a level 47 Snorlax. Hey, we'll take that. Ooh. Oh, that was a crit. Okay. Oh no, we. Oh, we got crit! Yes! Okay, let's go. We'll take those. We take those. Okay. That was a little more nerve wracking than it was supposed to be. Well, the final trainer in this gym. Seeking is worth the Mega Drain. There we go. Oh, wait. There's still one more. Magmar. Well, just sledge. Oh, we'll sledge you to death. Charmander will do the same thing because you're way too low levels. There we go. Wait, there's not they're not done. Oh my gosh. Dratini will headbutt you to oblivion. Primate will headbutt you to oblivion. Water meets fire, fire meets ice, and yada yada yada. Okay, so let's go ahead. I honestly think that we should lead with Os or Yeah. I'm gonna lead with Oscar. Because I think Oscar is going to be, like, a very good Pokemon for Blaine, okay? Huh! I am Blaine. I am the leader of the Cinnabar Gym. My fiery Pokemon will incinerate all challenges. Huh! You better have a burn here for that. Okay, Giovanni. Oh, Giovanni. This is, this is definitely a Giovanni. This is 100% Giovanni. Wait, I need to make sure I can't, which way I can't go. This way, okay. This is 100% Giovanni. Giovanni is definitely here to fight me. Okay, anyway. Enough of me completely being sarcastic with myself. You're going to lead off with a Seedra. 48. Oh, pff, in my head, I'm like... <laughs> I literally, in my head, just went... That's not volleyball. That's not supposed to happen. And I'm like, wait. It's Gen 1. It is. Um. Although, I'm going to be honest. I don't really mind. I can wing attack this thing. And deal some at least decent... Oh, wow. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Heal that... <laughs> if you want to heal that up, you can heal that up. 
Um, that's the unfortunate thing is Sludge and Ice Beam are or Ice Ice Beam may be the best bet because get the freeze, get the freeze, darn it. Waterfall. Ugh, okay. Seed drop might have to be. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, that was a crit. That's why. I might. I'm gonna just have to swap. I'm gonna need to find some, some special moves for Oscar because, oof. Like, Shadow Ball would be perfect. Um, okay, Seedra, what do I do with you? I... I guess I go into Kawaii. Oh, Wrap. Oh my god, of course. Okay. Oh, I hit Fire Blast. That's not the move I was looking for. Okay, Jump Kick. Kill this thing. Okay. We got it out of the way. We're good. Pidgeot. Ooh, that's another one that we don't necessarily want to deal with. I'm gonna go J-Rod here. Only because J-Rod's got Waterfall. And not Stab, super effective, or not super effective. I have Ice Beam on Gengar, but I just don't trust Gengar enough. You're out here using Super Potions, why Blaine? Try attack Ooh. Okay. Oh, that did nothing. I mean, this is also looks like I think it's the lowest level mon on your team right here. So it's 46. Beedrill is next. Uh, that will swap into Kawaii for 1,000% of the time. Psychic that guy into oblivion. And here is the level 54. Another Seedra. I kind of feel bad that it's another... I'm not gonna be- I'm gonna be 100% honest. I kind of feel bad that it's another seed drop. We don't have- No way. I used all my- Oh gosh, I did. Okay. I need to just sell these super potions. Like, I'm never gonna use them. My special fell. Good thing we're gonna hit you with a physical move. So seed drop is gone. Kawhi out here gaining- going to level 53, and we defeated Rachel. I have bought out. You've earned the Volcano Badge. Here's 5,643. Volcano Badge, Titan Special Abilities, your Pokemon, yada yada yada. Here, oh. You have to make room for my gift. Like, oh my god. I'm just like, why? Tell me why I have to make room for your gift, and then I will. Um. Yeah, I'll just toss the full heal. Because the TM could be good. TM38, which is... Twin Needle. Well, so much for it being good. Alright, well... I tossed the full heal for that thing. But, that's okay. Because, we... Can go ahead and fly... To... Viridian. Go into the Pokemon Center, heal up, talk to Ristoy and heal up. We might take on the rival battle too. The rival battle is going to be level 56 as his ace, I want to say. So, excess my PC. I want to deposit some items. Let's deposit HMO3, HMO4, the Poke Flute, the Card Key. The, the secret key. And I'm never going to use TM38, but I can sell that thing. Okay. We're fine. Okay, so we deposited some stuff so that we can just kind of do our thing. And the gym is locked here. But... Now that we've done our stuff, it should be unlocked. In my opinion. Opinion. Oh, it's not. Now that's thing go around it the other way. Which I highly Oh wait, no, I can't, okay. There we go, okay. 
now we get to go to Giovanni's gym, which I don't know how I feel about Giovanni's gym. I feel like Giovanni's gym should not be too difficult, but we could get big played here. Like that. <laughs> so this gym, to my knowledge, I only really need to fight one, but I should fight more than one level. You shouldn't have a horsey. What? Oh, no, I made it 45. That's why. Because I definitely thought there was going to be more than there was. Everything with their rap tactics. Jeesh. Machamp. Machamp, machamp, machamp. Uh, kawaii. Ooh, Dragonite? Get destroyed by that Ice Beam. Tangela? Also get destroyed by Ice Beam. You lived on one, you sucker. Okay. We're getting there. We're doing our thing. We are getting our thing. Ooh, Krabby. I am 100% swapping on that Krabby. Uh, Ty, get yourself out here. Make it drain the crap out of this Krabby. And we defeated him, too. Okay. Perfect! We're making way. We're making headway. The Waterstone? Okay. I can't say I mind that. Oh, wait. Ah, it's a ground type. I trust Ty way more than I trust Oscar. I'm sorry, Oscar. I just, I know you're a Gengar, but I don't trust you against physical attacks. I mean, you can, you can understand that, right? You can understand my distrust. Ooh, a Gengar versus Gengar. That's not happening, but Kawhi's coming out here to psychic the crap out of you. Licky Tongue, also gonna get psychic the crap out of, and well, we have fought all the trainers in this gym very, very quickly. And there's Giovanni. Let's super potion up. Let's heal up everybody to their desired health, which is full. We're going to lead with Oscar. <laughs> this is my hideout. I plan to resurrect Team Rocketeer. But you have caught me again. So be it. This time, I'm not holding back. I once more shall face you. Giovanni, the greatest trainer in the world. Okay, Giovanni, if you want to play it that way, you know what? You can play it that way. Also, why did you get rid of... Okay, so one thing about Giovanni's team. So Giovanni has five mods, right? And this is something I really wanted to point out because I was looking at levels because I do that um, so I don't get caught off guard or anything else. I was looking at Giovanni's levels in particular. He's level 58, or he should be level 58. He's 57.5, so depending on if the game rounds up or down, which we've seen it round up before, so it should round up. He should have a level 58, which means we are underleveled for this fight. I don't care. I'd rather fight him now than trade up level 58, because we have a full party, which he should also have a full party, because he just straight up gets rid of his Kangaskhan. He's like, ah, oh, I don't give a care about Kangaskhan, because it's not a ground type. Hardy, hardy, har! And I'm just like, he should have kept it for story purposes. He's literally had this the entire game, and then just drops it. I don't know. How you guys feel about this? But I feel like this should be a 6v6 fight. Uh, in my opinion, I feel like the games are... These games are the hardest, by far. Um, Non-randomizers. Randomizers, this game is kind of felt like the easiest. If I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not gonna lie. But, once I do my extreme randomizer for this game, I'll probably say the exact opposite. Um, but... I feel like Kangaskhan should be here and it should be a 6v6 battle. Now, Kangaskhan very well should not be his ace. I feel like his ace is fine. I mean, I kind of want his Needle... Like, I kind of would like his Needle Queen to be his ace, but... That's not... Wow! Okay! He actually has Needle King. I'm happy about that. Okay, I'm gonna Ice Beam, though. I don't know if Oscar can kill. I'm hoping he can. Yeah, Oscar! Take that thing down. Take that thing down. Okay. Polyrath. Polyrath, I'm just gonna go into Kawaii 4 because Kawaii needs experience. And I can psychic that into Oblivion because it's level 58. Okay. Mallory wants to use a Gold Duck. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Okay, well, I know this Gold Duck does not have any Ice type moves. So I can switch and just Mega Drain this thing. Toxic does not affect me. Why'd you use Toxic twice? 
I mean, I'm glad I popped the swap into Ty, though, let's be fair. I knew it had Toxic, I don't don't know why I glazed past that. A Golem! Oh, we're staying in. We are staying in. This is your level 51. That's also funny, he also has a Golem! <laughs> I think... No, he doesn't have a Golem. He's got... No, he... Yeah, because he doesn't have a Golem. He's got Duck Trio, Nido King, Nido Queen... Um... What else does he have? Rhyhorn and Rhydon on his team. So here's his level 58. What is his level 58 gonna be? A Beedro. That's underwhelming. I mean, it's... Oh, I, okay, so it rounded down. Or at 50, at 57, or 50, or at point seven, it rounded down. Good to know, but unfortunately that was... Yeah. That was just that. Why gets level 54, and we defeated our 8th gym as we get the Earth Badge, get $5,643. Pokemon of all levels obey us. And we receive TM27, which is growth, and I, one that does not matter. Woohoo. Okay, but we also have the ability to get an encounter here that we did not before, I think. I could be thinking of my game. Okay, no, I'm not thinking of my game. Okay, math makes me feel better. Because I was totally thinking I was thinking my game real quick. Because I made a Pokemon game. I don't know if you get... People probably don't know this, but I made my own Pokemon game. And I kind of made it a tribute. The very beginning is a tribute to this game. Like, it starts out like Gen 1. Because Gen 1 is what started this entire journey for me. As far as Pokemon, like... This was, the reason why I played this game first was because it had a big connection to me and what I've done. Because this was the very first Pokemon game I have played. Um, I know I've brought this up m a multiple amounts of times, but it's true. It is the very first Pokemon game that I have played. What happened? It just lets me get off? Okay. Honestly, I don't care about encounters. I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really care about encounters right now. Like, I just need to name something Papa. That's all that matters. But we're gonna fight our rival here because this episode has been very short. I'm gonna be honest. It's been like 12 minutes? Yeah, 17 minutes. So we can fight our rival and get our victory road encounter, I guess. What? John, what a surprise to see you. I can't believe you actually made it this far. Like, oh my gosh, you're going to the... I shouldn't... This is not Gen 2's voice. I can't imitate Gen 2. I'm gonna be honest. I literally can't imitate Gen 2. Um, you're going to the Pokemon League. I'm so surprised. You collect all the badges? That's so cool. Well, then I'll whip you, John. Whip. Um, as a warm-up for the Pokemon League. And a tribute of our first battle where... You just completely skipped me because you didn't care. Come on. Now, he's gonna have a lower ace, so, like, I don't really mind. He's gonna, his ace is gonna be 56, but he's a 6v6 battle, and, and, he's gonna have a more well, or a love, higher team as far as levels, or at least he should. And he starts out with a Venusaur, level 54, and honestly, I can ice beam this thing. And there's no need for me to swap. Might as well get Oscar that experience that he needs. Sludge. Sludge is resisted and should not do very much damage. Like 15? 20? That was a crit. That did 25 and that was a crit. So I was right in my calculations. Okay. And we got a crit. Nice. We should be getting more crits. We don't get enough crits. Okay. Porygon. Okay. Porygon. What do I do with Porygon? 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 I don't even know. I don't even know what to do with Porygon. I'll have a fighting type on the team. I feel like this is probably the best bet, honestly, because we can Ice Beam, and he might not have a move to touch me. Lick. Ooh, that's, that, I thought that wasn't supposed to touch me. I thought Ghost didn't touch Ghost in this game. I must have been wrong. Okay, so Arbok is next. Okay, with Arbok, I'm going to swap into Kawaii. Dude, this has been the Oscar Kawaii show this episode. I'm not gonna, this has literally been the Oscar and Kawaii show, but that's an Oko. So level 51, Kawaii, and then Gen 2's gonna send out our Wigglytuff. Oh, you got one too? Okay, buddy boy. Ooh, this is like, 
like an ace level Pokemon. I'm gonna fire punch this thing though, like it shouldn't do it should do a lot. Yeah, acid. Like Jigglypuff just or Wigglytuff has does not get a good move set in this in this randomizer. So like that's freebies. Scyther, oh that's a freebie. Level 57. Okay, so your ace is actually the same, but that's a free pay because we had Shiny out. Jetu, the last Pokemon is his ace, his Starmie, which to be fair, has been the scariest Pokemon of his entire Nuzlocke, and I kind of wish I didn't give him a Starmie. But, holy crap! So much for being lower level than I am, I guess? I 100% thought that you were level 56, and you're level 60. Uh, okay! Just don't have Ice Beam, we're good. Amnesia? Oh, that's right, you have Amnesia? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, gosh. This Starmie is a big threat. I'm gonna put it to sleep. It is plus four special attack and special defense right now. Like, this thing is super scary. At plus four, like, I am so- See, Ty is just out here. Ty is just out here, just doing his thing. Because the way sleep works in this generation really helps us. And we defeated Gen 2 with no casualties. What? I was just so careless. I, that loosened me up. I'm ready for the Pokemon League. John, you just definitely need more practice. But hey, you know. You know that already. I'm out. Smell you later. Okay. Oh, whoops. Oh, there was Dragonair in here too. Honestly, Dragonair Sprite looks pretty good in this game. Oh, I'm better than pretty good, but it looks really good in this game. I I really like Dragonair Sprite. You got the Boulder Badge. You got the Cascade Badge. Okay. Ooh! I'm liking this. Okay. I'm liking this! Thunder Badge? Yes. Rainbow Badge? Yes. <clears throat> So we're gonna get an encounter here. So this we gotta name Papa. No matter what it is, unfortunately. We gotta name it Papa. I've been waiting for a steel type this entire time and I realized that that doesn't exist in this game. So as long as it ain't no like Weedles or Caterpies, we're fine. I still wish the Victory Road music was playing. I really do, I'm not lying. I, like, I wish that that was playing. But we got our two encounters in one of the episode. Because this has been quite the episode. Okay, we got the Earth Badge, and we can go in there for Victory Red. But before we do that, our encounter in the area before Victory Road is... A Hypno! Honestly, not a bad Pokemon for Papa. I do not mind naming a Papa Agron after a Hypno. He just puts people to sleep. Not, I mean... That definitely came out in a weird way. I mean, like, he he hypnotizes people. I don't know how to recover from that. Like, I don't know. Papa's a good person. All in all. all. <laughs> there we go. Papa's a great person. I just, I was making a comment based on the hook one. Um, if anything, he wakes people up and energizes them for the day. But, okay. Great ball. Fuck! I for I I made a note of this, and I still yet to do that. Okay. Basically, we're gonna have to do the same thing that I did for the other one, um, and I'm just gonna straight up double team and see what moves this level 26 Hypno's got. And I literally, I have its nickname down, so I will not forget it. Okay. We know it has Double Slap. That's like the one that we already knew. So of course it had to be the one that we already knew. Psychic. 
I don't mind that at all. That's actually very good. Uh, okay, do not crit me. That I don't like. Please use your moves. Jump kick. We know you have another move. Reveal it. The fact that Jump Kick let us one damage. Stop! Use actually a different move, please. Do you really only have three? You can't have only three moves. You have another one. You you reveal double sec psychic at double slap psychic and jump kick. Oh, of course I don't have anything. We would have caught this thing. We would have caught this thing. But okay, so that's all we know. So I'm gonna put question mark question mark question mark on its fourth move. And we'll add something. We'll put something there. We don't know what, but we'll put something there. I don't, like, something that would be reasonable for, probably like Psy, oh boy, okay. Probably like Psy Shock or something, but. And we're gonna do the same thing with the Victory Road encounter. Just like find a, find a Pokemon and nickname it because Dragonair, that is 100% dupes. That's still dupes. Oh! <gasps> Aaron! Aaron! Okay. Obviously, I already know the nickname by me, but like, Aaron! Because we're catching this thing, but again, same principle applies. It is a. Oh. I should, oh, yeah, I did. Okay. And it is level 22. Kubone. A. A. Ron. What moves do you got, A. A. Ron? Okay, because we already know this is named after A. A. Ron. J. Rod. Okay. It's got double team. That's not a bad start, actually. And I'm going to actually use Tox. So it's got double team. EQ Okay That's that's already good <laughs> And Mega Kick Just reveal your fourth move and we're good. We've already revealed Earthquake And Dig. Okay. That is thy move set. And that will end our episode today. I'm gonna run from this thing. We would have caught it. Same, same, like I said, all this is like the same principles. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I am gonna go ahead and add all those Pokemon to the box. Unfortunately, if something dies, it dies, and we'll be able to add from there too. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. If you are new, it'd be greatly appreciated. We're on our road to 400. We're at 367 as of time of recording. So let's get to 400. Let's, let's kill it. Let's see if we can get to 400 before my new series. Um, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.